Some people find insects super interesting, while others can't even stand the thought of them. Either way, we share this world with these alien-like creepy crawlies. Did you know that insects were here on Earth long before humans? Another fact, there are actually way more insects than humans on Earth. There are 900,000 known species, and probably millions more that haven't even been discovered yet. Just consider that bugs and insects outnumber humans 200 million to 1, and there is an average of 400 million insects per acre of land. However, some bugs are even scarier than others, that everyone should just stay away from them. Here are 10 of the largest and scariest bugs in the world that actually exist. Let us start with Tarantula Hawk. The first insect on our list is neither a tarantula nor a hawk. From the name, you might be picturing a bird of prey, but a tarantula hawk is actually an insect, a wasp. And if you guessed they eat tarantulas, you'd be right. Well, at least partially right. The tarantula hawk, also known as Pepsis formosa, is actually a spider wasp that can grow up to two and a half inches long with a four inch wide wingspan. This one had a beautiful blackish blue metallic body with vivid bright orange wings. Some have shiny blue black wings that match its body. It has long black antennae and six velvety black legs with hook like claws on the ends. As the name indicates, they prey on tarantulas, which they need as hosts for their larvae. They are big and strong, impressive and beautiful. They long lived and nobody eats them. Justin Schmidt, an entomologist, is really fascinated with them, to the point he endured around 1,000 anthropod bites and stings over the course of his career. Rates the relative pain of each on what amounts to a four-star scale. In the case of Tarantula Hawk, it's actually a kind of solitary wasp with a sting whose resulting pain only lasts three minutes, but it's so fiercely electric that it could only be described as totally unacceptable. At number nine, Vietnamese Centipede. Many consider the Vietnamese centipede to be a remarkable species. In fact, some individuals reach a length of 10, and even though most do not exceed 8 in long. The elongated body usually appears a reddish brown in color, also the multiple legs typically display yellow or yellow orange in color. Their bodies grow elongated and segmented into 21 sections. The Vietnamese centipede is super venomous. The venom can generate extreme pain, yet its toxin rarely causes life-threatening reactions. If you happen to come across one of these centipedes in Thailand, treat it with caution. If you aggravate them, they will bite. They have specially adapted front legs, which act as pincers. They use these to catch their prey and then inject it with venom to kill it. The centipede will use these same pincer-like legs to bite you. A bite from one of these centipedes is extremely painful. The pain can last for four to five days. Severe swelling and bruising often results from being bitten. Some people may suffer more adverse effects such as breathing difficulties and a rapid heartbeat. To make things worse, this particular species of centipede represents the only one to have a human fatality attribute to a bite. At number eight, Bag Shelter Caterpillar. Also called the Processionary Caterpillar, during the time it must mate and lay its eggs in the foliage of a pine tree, a single female moth can lay up to 300 tiny eggs, and it takes around a month for them to hatch. Once hatched, the caterpillars have five growth stages called insters. During their third inster, they build a white cotton wool-like nest and continue to feed on the pine leaves until the fifth inster. Eventually, the caterpillars will disperse to burrow just below the ground, where they will pupate. The real bummer about these insects is the fact that even if pets and farm animals are wise enough to keep away from the caterpillars themselves, if their hairs are shed and accidentally ingested, they can cause a world of pain. And you have to be careful because it is their hair that is dangerous. If they are poked or touched, they cause a nasty rash and give off particles that can cause respiratory problems. They are particularly toxic for children and animals. Each caterpillar is spiked with up to 700,000 pointed defensive bristles, which are carried by the breeze and may provoke rashes, coughing, allergic reactions, or irritation if inhaled or touched. They nest on oak trees, marching processions like from one to the next, and cluster together to chomp on the leaves. Their nests, which are sometimes several feet in size, are too toxic to touch. Giant Weta Grasshopper and number seven, what insects have the tusks of an elephant, can weigh as much as small birds, and yet live like mice? 
only the New Zealand Weta. As many as 100 species of these thorny creatures dwell in burrows, caves, and crevices, from lush islands to snowy mountain crests. Giant wettas are related to grasshoppers, and their scientific name, Dinocrita, means terrible grasshopper. They are only found in New Zealand, and it's thought that they only managed to evolve to such a size because of their isolated island habitat. Giant wettas weigh as much as 75 grams. For comparison, typical mouse weighs just 45 grams. Male tree weta are professional aggressors. As juveniles, they begin their apprenticeship, and as adults, it dominates their lives. It shows in their big heads, heavy jaws, and erect head-high stance compared to with females. Stridulating sounds are emitted during their pitched battles, which involves pulling opponents out of tunnels by the leg, kicking the spine-covered hind legs, grappling, biting, and lunging. Like many animals, if handled roughly or cornered, Weta will bite and scratch in their attempts to escape. The bites of the large ones can draw blood. I'm sure I don't want to be near any Weta. At number 6, Titan Beetle. As its name suggests, the Titanius Gigantus, or Titan Beetle, is a giant of the insect world. Adults can grow up to 6.5 inches long and have incredibly strong jaws that can snap wooden pencils in half. So just imagine what they could do to your fingers. Luckily, these scary looking bugs are quite harmless to humans. Although the Hercules beetle is considered the world's longest beetle, measuring over 7 inches because of its enormous horn, which makes up around half the total length, in terms of sheer body size, the Titanus gigantus is the world's largest beetle, and one of the largest insects on the planet. They defend themselves by hissing and warning, and using their large jaws to bite attackers. It also has very strong legs equipped with sharp claws that can literally tear through flesh. Titans never attacked unprovoked, but must be handled with care as they can do some serious damage. This gargantuan insect has mandibles that can easily snap a pencil in half, and reportedly they can rip into human flesh too. I know people are familiar with insects being small in size, and watching this list is really an eye-opener. You have to stay with me until the end of this video because you'll be shocked to know that my top list can turn their heads 180 degrees full, so don't you dare sneak up on them. Fifth, we have the Giant Water Bug. The Giant Water Bug, or Lethorus americanus, is a large aquatic insect measuring between 5.5 and, and 6.5 and centimeters. It is found in America as well as Southeast Asia. What makes it perhaps more alarming is that these bugs grow to huge sizes, up to 12 centimeters for some species, and have been known to attack and consume baby tortoises and snakes, as well as fish and other vertebrates. The giant water bug has one of the most painful stings known to humans, though the good news is it's not venomous. For its prey though, the damage is pretty severe. These bugs inject a digestive food which is so powerful that it dissolves muscle. After attacking, the bug simply waits a minute, then sucks out the liquefied insides of its unfortunate prey. This is known as the extraoral digestion, and of the many unusual killing stories of the insect world, this would truly be at home in a horror movie. African Assassin Bug at number 4 Assassin bugs are quite little compared to the other bugs on our list things, but man, are they horrible. At least they are if you happen to be an insect. They consider to be prey or indeed a rat or bird seeking to convert one into a sumptuous meal. A recent study shows that the assassin bug has not one but three distinct venom glands. More, it produces two entirely separate types of venom, one to conquer prey and the other to repel predators. The way an assassin bug feeds is a stuff of B-grade science fiction, using its trademark strong proboscis, otherwise known as a rostrum. The bug impales its prey and then injects venom-laced saliva. This serves two gruesome purposes. First, it paralyzes the victim, and then it liquefies its internal organs, allowing the assassin bug to suck it all out. Imagine you're an insect. You have been a victim of the assassin bug, and now you're dead. The good news is, you can now rest in peace, right? No. This insect will use your carcass as camouflage, and will go on to attack your family and friends for his next meal. Assassin bugs are known to fashion empty ant exoskeletons into protective outerwear. The insect can carry as many as 20 dead ants at a time, and binds them together with a sticky excretion into a cluster that may be larger than its own body. Galiniper Mosquito at number 3 
Most mosquitoes are small enough that you hardly notice them as they invade your space and bite your legs and arms, but the Galnipper is different. This monster mosquito is about six times larger than the size of a common mosquito, and its bite is that much more painful. Known as Sorophora ciliata, they're sometimes called Galnippers or Mega Mosquitoes, and they're not very common. They can be found over most of the United States east of the Rockies, as far north as southern Wisconsin, Michigan, or Minnesota, and northeast except for Maine, though some have even recently been found even there. The Galnipper can most easily be recognized for its impressive size and aggressive nature. It is about the size of a quarter, with feathery dark scales on its hind legs. These monster mosquitoes aren't just ugly and bothersome. Like other mosquitoes, they also carry health risks. They have tested positive for West Nile disease and various strains of encephalitis, the disease that causes birth defects. Fortunately, the CDC does not currently consider this species to be a vector in the transmission of these diseases. Nonetheless, pest control is essential to avoid all potential risks. Second on our list, Megachild Pluto. Little is known about these elusive insects' habits. The bee's dark colored bodies measure about one and a half inches in length, about as long as a human thumb, and they build communal nests on termite dwellings and trees. The Mechachal Pluto, also known as Wallace's giant bee, is a rare species found only in a group of Indonesian islands called the North Moluccas. The bee, which grows up to an inch and a half long with a wingspan of two and a half inches, has large mandibles that almost look like those of a stag beetle. It uses them to scrape sticky resin off trees to build burrows within termite nests, where females raise their young. Like other bees, it feeds on nectar and pollen. One of the most notable things about the bee was the sound of its wings. It is described as a deep, slow thrum that you could almost feel as well as hear. This bee was thought to be already extinct and was just rediscovered recently. Unfortunately, Wallace's giant bees is also threatened by deforestation and habitat loss. The report of the discovery comes shortly after the publication of a worldwide study showing that insect species are in decline around the world. However scary these giant bees are, they still need to be protected from extinction as the ecosystem relies on them. And number one, Giant Asian Mantis. The Giant Asian Mantis is a large, strong predator. It measures up to 12.7 centimeters long, that's about as long as a mobile phone. Its wingspan averages about 8 to 10 centimeters long. Despite its large size, a giant mantis is light in weight. At roughly 3 grams, it's only as heavy as a penny. Its size and strength could overpower most insect enemies. The giant mantis's walk speed is slower than three toed sloths. Mantids usually only fly to escape a predator or to get to a new perch. Their slow cruising speed while in flight is only about half as fast as the bats which hunt them. The giant mantis takes its time until it's ready to strike. But when snaring prey, the mantis moves extremely fast. A mantis strike has been measured at 30 to 51 thousandths of a second. How fast is this? Let me break it down for you. A mantis could strike twice in the time it takes a human to blink an eye. This exceptionally large mantis is named for its size and heavy build. When threatened, they can inflict a sharp snap that can draw blood. Money gang, are you terrified of these large and scary insects but also fascinated at the same time? Share your thoughts in the comments below and we'll make sure to reply to every single comment within the hour. If you find this video informative, I know you'll enjoy watching our video about the most dangerous roller coasters in the world, with big hills that are getting ever more thrilling and frightening. We'll be shocked to the core. Peace.